First of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to speak again at the Vienna Migration Conference and present the Prague Process Outlook for the Future. The Czech Republic highly appreciates the work that has been done and goals achieved under the Lithuania chairmanship of the Prague Process Strategy Group in the past two years. We would like to build on these successes and ensure the fulfillment of our common objectives for the future. Migration has never been a static phenomenon. Over the years, we have witnessed a series of events that had significant impact on migration movements across the Prague Process region, as well as its immediate neighborhood, most notably migration crisis. But most recently, another crisis, this time of epidemiological nature is underway and we need to be able to react accordingly. The crisis will undoubtedly have various impacts on our economies, on our societies, as well as on our migration needs and challenges. And to be successful in addressing them, we need to act as in the past together. And we believe that the Prague process has its key role to play. Last year marked 10 years since the process was launched at the ministerial conference in Prague. 10 years of building common understanding and trust, which should not be taken for granted. EU's migration and asylum policy is currently being redefined within the framework of the new Pact on Migration and Asylum, presented recently by the European Commission. The Prague process is to be understood as a piece of the mosaic, a part of the overall EU's effort. There will always be a need for strong regional migration cooperation, and the Prague process is there to fulfill this need. The process is ready to continue providing training, involving states and maintaining functional platforms for communication and intergovernmental cooperation, sustaining information flows, best practice exchange and mutual co coordination are the key stops. We need to focus on the reasonable balance between all thematic areas of the Prague process cooperation. On the one hand, we need to work on sustainable legal migration. Restricted mobility left many labor migrants stranded without employment or resources, often in hosting countries or in transit with little options to return. At the same time, the COVID-19 pandemic showed the importance of migrant workers in essential sectors of our economies. On the other hand, we need to ensure that the migration policies are safe and prone to abuse. Effective border management, prevention of and fighting against illegal migration and related cross-border crime, as well as readmission, return and reintegration policies are equally important. In order to facilitate achieving such aim, we have presented the Prague process roadmap for the future during the senior officials meeting that took place on November 16. Together with all participating states, we launched the process of renewing our political commitment and paving our way towards the formulation of the Prague Processes mandate for the period of 2023-27. With the year 2022 being a year of jointly defining and endorsing our priorities. In the second half of 2022, the Czech Republic will hold the EU presidency once again, and the foreseen ministerial conference should frame all our efforts. We would like to focus on renewing the goals that were set and implemented and adjust them to the new normal, to the new normal, which will be there for decades to come. Let me thank all participating states and international partners for cooperation and commitment and also for, uh, for the support uh, provided by the European Commission. The support which allowed this platform to be fully operational and as well as the Secretariat of, of the Process International Center for Migration Policy Development. We would like to invite you to further engage in the Prague Process activities and hope for your usual support in the future. 
Thank you.